I'm Phil Watterson. I'm an Oscar-nominated film director for mainly documentary films. And this one I'm tackling is a fairly new project. It is about Bigfoot. And as you may know, you've heard about Bigfoot, the Yeti, Sasquatch, all those kind of pseudonyms for the Bigfoot, but I just like to call it Bigfoot. And um, this one is a little different from your average History Channel Bigfoot um, finding film. Mine includes two of the smartest individuals I have ever met about Bigfoot. They know everything about Bigfoot. All the statistics, all of Bigfoot's sightings, and all of the animalistic properties that Bigfoot holds. And I just gotta say, Ron Tannen and John Tannen are two of the most extraordinary Bigfoot hunters I have ever met. That is why I consoled them, I needed them, and I just, they were the keys to my problems with filming this documentary. I needed to film a documentary about Bigfoot. I couldn't have done it without the fervor and zeal of these two men. This film is going to be, it's going to be a little different than my usual kind of films. It's going to be centered around Bigfoot. I know a lot of people have heard of Bigfoot, but no one really knows a lot about the being. But um, I did some extensive research. There have been a total of 4,905 total sightings of Bigfoot around the world. That is staggering. 4,553 of those sightings take place in the U.S. alone. The U.S. state with the most sightings is Washington State, with a total of 575 sightings. The first reported attack was in 1924 in Washington State. Remember, Washington State was the one with the most sightings, 575 for that matter. Many cultures call it different things, Sasquatch, Yeti, and of course Bigfoot. But those are just some general statistics. What you're about to see is very real and it's very raw. What you will see may be disturbing and it may, you know, may give you a different perspective on who Bigfoot is and what secrets lie beneath. Before I began my epic quest to find Bigfoot, I had to get some insight into the local town that I live in. It was in western Montana, and I was went to this local Catholic high school. It's called St. George's. It's in Westminster County. And I got several insights from the groundskeeper and many of the faculty members. Even the priest offered some uh, confident words and that he had seen Bigfoot. But I think the most important thing is that most people do believe in this creature. And I think that is a testament of time. That this creature and this thought that this creature has survived for so many years is still believed by many in modern day. I'm telling you, Bigfoot's real. This is a, this is a very important matter. There's a matter of safety for the children and uh, the state of Montana because it's just, uh, I mean, it's just a big, tall creature in the shadows. I'm very convinced it was Bigfoot. Have you ever seen Bigfoot? No, I haven't seen Bigfoot. Do you believe in him? Sasquatch? Um, no, I don't. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Definitely. You believe in Bigfoot? I do. Do you know why? Why? Because it really can't be this. Is it disproven or disproved? It cannot be. It can't be proven that. Sasquatch, and I prefer to call him Sasquatch, not Bigfoot. And it could be a girl. I think there are girls and boys that have to be. But the race wouldn't be able to be created or have been created, right? I believe that the Sasquatch exists because it cannot be proven, and it doesn't. So much so that I think I have a whole family of Sasquatch living right next to me in Vermont. I'm gonna tell you that, all right? That's why I believe that, okay? okay? Same with UFOs. Same with Loch Ness Monster. Same with, same with, same with, same with, same with life after death. It can't be proven that it doesn't, so therefore, it does.
my brother's morning routine. Well, ever since my uh, brother watched the movie American Psycho, he has been very, very intent on becoming a Patrick Bateman kind of character. If you've ever seen that movie, don't watch it again, and if you haven't seen it, don't watch it. However, it has kind of influenced him in weird ways. I mean, he does all these pointless exercises. Anyway, there's a scene where in which he does a morning routine, and that has very that's been the basis of inspiration for my brother. Uh, then every single morning. He takes three steps to that window and just stares out of it, thinking he's going to find some something. There's an idea of a Bigfoot, some kind of abstraction. It is not a monster, only an animal living on instinct. Though humans think we may be entirely different from it, we both share the same aspiration, and that is the will to survive. Hmm, my brother Ron. Ron's a really nice, simple, um, down-to-earth guy. I mean, he, uh, he's a little reserved and, um, shy, but he really, he's always been there for me. He's been a great brother, and, uh, the two of us have just made an, like, a phenomenal team over the years, even though we haven't found Bigfoot yet, but, um, we just, we, I believe we are the perfect combo to find Bigfoot. When it comes to Bigfoot, he kind of, he thinks Bigfoot is just any ordinary animal. But I, I on the other hand, I think Bigfoot is something much, much, uh, much beyond our comprehension. Phil Watterson as a director. Mm. Well, he's, he seems like a pretty solid director. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to work with him. Uh, glad we can have him here on the set with us, filming this documentary about Bigfoot. Uh, my brother, on the other hand, John Tannen, he's a little bit too philosophical for me, for me because I like to take this hunt a little more literally. I just prefer to remain more real about this. Um, so, yeah, if we find him, we find him. If we don't, we don't. If I found Bigfoot, that would just be phenomenal. I don't know what I would do, but at the same time, I would be kind of disappointed in a way, considering that my whole life has been devoted to finding him. I don't know what I'm going to do after I find him. It's been such a journey coming all these years and hunting, finding trails and clues. So I, I don't really know what I'll do after I find him. John, he, he believes in some legends that go on in that same woods that we're hunting for Bigfoot. Something about some ghost that haunts it or 
some ghost of a little boy that drowned in a creek. Well, legend has it that, uh, that boy, uh, has been known to possess people who have ventured out there in the woods. Uh, I've heard plenty of stories about it. I don't know if they're all true or not, but my brother sure believes it. Uh, I'm just gonna go in that woods confident. I'm gonna find Bigfoot and nothing else. That's how I see it. Cleanliness is godliness. Oh, here he is now. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, man of the hour. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh. Phil Watterson. It's a pleasure to meet you. No, it's a pleasure to meet oh, you, what's sir. What's the name sir? again, sir? Uh, Phil Watterson. Phil sir. Watterson. Oh, yeah, yeah. Corner House. All right, yeah. All right. I'll show you my station. This is just, this is where we. Oh. All right, I've just. I'm, I'm, I can't believe I'm meeting you right now. You're like. No, you you are the stars. You you. you I, I may I may be an Oscar winning film director, but I I think I'm pretty good. You know, I mean. Aren't you are you like the most well known director of documentaries of all time? Well, Even though you're gosh. probably one of them. I mean, I'm next to. <laughs> All right, so um, when did you start learning about you know the ways of Bigfoot? I mean, you're just you, you guys are just such experts on it. I mean, I could not fathom like how much information you must know on this topic. It just it perplexes my mind. Well, my whole life has just revolved around Bigfoot. Ever since I was a child, I mean, my I was Ron. We were just raised around Bigfoot. It was just the premise of our lives. We well, just, I, I guess I just started when my brother got interested in it, and he just pulled me along with him, and I've learned by his ways. All right, so uh, if I remember correctly, when I uh, researched you two, mm -hmm. I remember um, John over here got tangled up with some type of cult. I heard he did a video vlog on the internet, and it somehow it got viral, and then they came back, they came at you with, with clubs and, and weaponry. I mean. You well, got hurt. Yeah, well, Phil, as you know, I have a I have a vlog online. It's called Bigfoot R Us, mm -hmm. and I posted this one night about uh, you wanting to do this documentary about us. And yeah. uh, I just I guess this cult is so against Bigfoot being found that they just they came to my house one night and they just attacked me and they broke my left wrist. I mean, it's you can see the joint yeah. here is a little like see disconfigured. That's oh, oh, weird. Wow. Well, what's your Ron? Well, what's Ronald? Ronald. Montana, what is your big, you know, I don't know, what do you think about Bigfoot? Do you believe in it just like as passionately as John does over here? I wouldn't say as passionately because I'm, I'm not going to be insanely passionate about him until I find him. I'm extremely hopeful and I will spend my entire life searching for him and I just, I believe it is our destiny as Tannins. Um, well, what do you two folks, uh, think about, uh, going out to hunt some Bigfoot tonight? 
I'm excited. I mean, uh, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous to be honest. Are you, are you nervous, Ron? I mean, are, are you, are you sure he's, he's really out in these uh, Montana woods? I mean, well, there actually a few years ago, there's been a, uh, there was a sighting, like ten miles from here. So. You know, I, I actually had a sighting. I had the dogs out here, uh, you know, uh, this past summer, and and uh, we saw something really strange in the woods. So I, I think he might Ooh. be real. That's good. I'll be damned if I don't see him tonight. Uh -huh. Night's a uh -huh. lucky night. Full moon. I mean, you you two seem to have different uh, different approaches to this whole Bigfoot picture. Yeah, I mean, I'm when it comes to Bigfoot, I'm a little more philosophical. I believe Bigfoot is almost like a symbol. Uh, it's 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 like something that you search for like your whole like your whole life. I'm, I'm but, a little, I, on the other hand, am a little bit more literal about him. I just when he's when I see him, I see him. I don't. I mean, I believe he exists. He's tangible. He's not abstract. But I believe he symbolizes something bigger than just an an like an animal. I think he's just the most primitive of an like animals there are because he's human yet. He's like almost an ape. Well, my brothers just... did grow up on the uh, in the psychedelic era, so. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, all the great pants on the Sort of, um, I mean, he, he's, his name is anonymous, but I hear he's the best. Uh, I was thinking about calling him. He's this, um, this Native American spiritual leader. I don't know his name unless I told you. I mean, I, I can't tell you much about him. He's pretty, is it pretty, you know, pretty secretive in his life. But he's amazing. I mean, he can summon Bigfoot. Really? For almost anywhere. Well, we've we've he's, never tried something spiritual like this before. But if yeah, what he claims is true, then I believe his chance can not summon the great beast. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, honestly I feel like anything can happen tonight. I met the most extraordinary man, a man by the name of Big Bird Joe. Big Bird Joe lives in Indiana. He is a Native American, and he knows all the ways of summoning Bigfoot. First, you must breathe in two times. Big Bird Joe made the journey even better. He taught us this, this very, you know, archaic and ancient ritual. It is where you make a fist with your hand and then you start pounding it on your chest like you're some big chief. And then you start humming and then the humming reverberates and it kind of makes a cool sound. And then you make this high-pitched ah! and I feel that that is the way to sound a big thing. All right, it's time. I think I'm ready. John, John, wake up. John, wake up. We gotta go. We gotta go. Come on, come on, come on. It's time to go? Yes, yeah, time to go. Oh, right now? Oh, right now. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's get going. And uh, going out with uh, John and Ron Tan, and we're going to look for Bigfoot. We've already we're not been going to look for Bigfoot. We're, we're going to find Bigfoot. Yes, we're going to find Bigfoot. All right, let's go. Not just not? Yes. All right. Let's go. Careful of, you, careful of your footing. It's a little okay. treacherous. It's a little creepy. Uh, the first camera ran out of battery. It's kind of unfortunate here, but we've got our backup one. Should it should the other one fail? All right. So. Thirty clicks east of here. Oh, you see this? What is Look that? at that 
mark. Yes. It's a little. Wow. That's very odd. That's a little strange. It's like a little. Weird. That looks like a grape or something. Oh, wow. Okay, we're about a mile away from the site. Oh, hold on a second, face. We're about a mile away from the site. And, uh, yeah, I, I, it's one o'clock right now. And, uh, Ron, right now. Ron, how you doing? Pretty good. It's kind of creepy out here. Oh, I'm creeped out. Oh my gosh, oh, dude. Like the way these branches fell, oh, it's like, it was, oh, look, look, this. look, whoa, look, whoa, look. whoa, 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 dude, look at, that is not normal breakage, that is not normal breakage, that has to be Bigfoot, there is something, yeah, something dude, on here. look at the way these branches fell, configuration, oh, watch out, watch out, good oh, god, did you hear that, what, 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 oh, shh, shh, it's not just the wind, okay, okay, we're good, Shine it on that. Shine it. Whoa, this is very Whoa, this looks like a Bigfoot manure. Oh, no. No? That's stirred. Oh, okay. Take a sample of dirt pill. Watch out, watch out. no wind that knocked this over. No, get the, you see any, like, any fur or anything possible? I'm, fur. It's usually like dark brown. I don't see, wait, wait, wait. I don't see anything though. So, uh, right. Here, I'll update. Um, we are very close to our site. Oh, that's very bright. Oh, I, 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 think we, I think we're out of the site. We just need to look around. Yeah. We're just a little lost. I mean, I'm a Which, little uh, kind of. That? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hear that? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh. Run, 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 run! Oh god! We gotta catch you. John, John, wake up, wake up, John, John, wake up, John, John, wake up! Oh, you fell, you fell. Are you okay? Yeah, I just I tripped in the sticks and I hit my head or something. That's pretty ridiculous. All right, oh, I guess let's keep moving on. But I'm, I'm I'm really creeped out. We haven't really seen anything recently. Never heard anything. Um, hold, hold, hold your lamp up to your face so I can see. Yeah, that really hurts. Better than something. Uh, yeah, all right, we're just gonna keep pressing on. Uh, I guess. I'm tired as hell. Uh, we haven't seen anything in a while or heard any noises recently. We're about six miles in. Been hiking for a good few hours. I guess let's just keep pressing for. Uh, uh, let's just keep going. I guess. Are you okay with that, Ron? Ready? What is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful, careful. I'm fine, I'm fine. Jeez. Careful, oh, it's the cliff. Dude, watch, watch it. Watch, watch out, it. no! Oh, oh God, where do you go? Is There's this lamp, this is lamp. This is lamp. This is lamp. Oh. Shit. Oh, God, dude, that's deep. Run. 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 Run, where are you? Tell us if you're hurt. We'll help you. John, do you see anything? No, I don't see him anywhere. Ron! 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 Alright. Still haven't found Ron yet. John, has, John is still looking. I'm really freaking out. I don't know what happened. Man, oh gosh. Uh, we're, we're, we're lost. He had to like, the uh, GPS and everything. We're just, oh shit. We're, we're screwed. Um. Uh, now it's just a point of getting back. I don't even. I don't know what to do. I mean, Phil, what, what do you like? Let's just. Uh, oh, I, I don't, don't know. know. I, I think we should go back a little bit. Uh, I'm not Temperatures dropping below 20 degrees, I'd say right now, which is you know, not great. Oh, gosh. Do, you, do you feel that? Yeah, it's like that. Feel that vibration. John? John, where are you?
John, where are you? Oh, John! Are you okay? John! Someone help, please! Come on, John, come on. Come on, man. Come on, come on. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, come on, John. He's still breathing, I don't know. You may be thinking, what the hell happened there? And why didn't we find any Bigfoot? Well, I think we did find Bigfoot in a sense. We heard his cries, we heard his voice. I woke up the next morning and I didn't know what happened. Um, you know, I felt like this, this event changed me forever, emotionally and physically. And when I woke up, I couldn't even find their bodies. They were all gone into the thin air. You, as the audience, shouldn't find this ending very dissatisfying. I feel that this leaves more questions to be solved by other Bigfoot hunters. And that is why I want to take the time right now to dedicate this film to Ron and John Tannen, who sacrificed their lives in the line of duty to find Bigfoot.